Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again, depending on what part of the world you're in, I'm Anthony Daniels, and welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. Today we're coming out of the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 24. <clears throat> That's Romans 7 and 24. And the NIV reads, What a wretched man I am, who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death. What a wretched man I am, who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death. Now, this is Paul speaking. We know that Paul is the most prolific uh, writer in the New Testament. And um, you know, here he's talking about, you know, being of, being of sin and the sin that resides in us and our battle with sin. Um, and that's what he says, what a wretched man I am. That he was talking about how, you know, when he wanted the things that he did not want to do, he did not do. The things, the things that he did not want to do, he did. And the things that he did not want to do, the things that he wanted to do, he couldn't, he didn't do. Basically saying, you know, the good that he wanted to do was harder for him to do than the sinful nature, which allowed, make it, makes it easy for us to do things we don't want to do because we have a sinful nature. And he says, what a wretched man I am. Then he says, who will rescue me from this body? And that's a, this, is a, this is a fleshly body. You know, he was talking about the law being spiritual, but we're not spiritual. You know, we're physical. We're physical creatures. We are, we are ruled by passion and we are ruled by worldly desires. Our body has worldly desires and it has passions and emotions. That, that desires things, that, that wants certain things, that want to be treated a certain way, that wants to treat other people a certain way. And, and th those ways are worldly, not godly. Those are the, those are the desires of, of our body. Now, when I say our body, uh, that would mean your heart until you are reborn again and you can change the desires of your heart to be the, the desires of God. But that's what he talks about. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? And I, this body, as we know it, will die. I mean, that, that is one thing that we will all face is death. And it's something that we, that we, uh, that we do not lack. Uh, we do not lack having to think about dying ourselves. <sighs> excuse me, please, excuse me. And we do not like to think about people that we love dying. But the reality is we're all going to die. <clears throat> we're all going to die. This body that we live in is going to die. I think even when we have rapture, uh, when God comes back to rapture his people, if you're alive during rapture, I do, I do not believe that your body uh, will go on uh, forever. But, uh, you know, uh, that's, uh, I'm not certain of that, but I do believe that uh, this physical body will not be called up to rapture. It will be uh, our spiritual self that will be called up to, uh, to heaven. But, again, I, say, I don't know for sure. And uh, that's just how, after my readings of what I've read, I think that's, that's a pretty good call. But anyway, um, who will rescue us from this body that is subject to, to death? And our rescuer has already come. Our rescuer has already rescued us from this, dead, this body that is going to die. And his name is Jesus Christ. When we accept Jesus Christ and we truly start to... to to, to praise and worship and seek him, then he comes in and he changes us. And the desires of our heart are turned from the desires of flesh to the desires of God. And I will tell you that is, a, that is a transformation that God has to make in you. We cannot make it. And it's very hard for us as on our own, almost impossible for most people on their own, to change their overall behavior. I mean, there's, there's always exception to rules, but the reality is, is that, you know, when we, you know, when we want to change, we know we're doing things that aren't right. We just want to, we're just trying to change ourselves. It's very hard for us to change. I mean, even things that aren't bad, you know, things that we know we need to change for our own good, it's hard for us to change. People who smoke, you know, they get addicted to smoking, they can't, they can't stop smoking. People who eat too much, they can't stop eating. You know, and those, those things are bad for them. They know it's bad for them, but they continue to do it. But when we call on the, when we call on our Jesus, we call on our Father, and we call on Jesus Christ, 
to help us through any situation. Then he comes in and he can change your heart. He can change your desires uh, to have to more godly desires, give you the power, a will to change the things that you need to change in your life and the desire to change those things. Not just the, the will, but the desire. You, you, a lot of times it's the desire to change. And then we, even sometimes when we desire to change things, we don't have the will. But God, but God gives us both of those, the desire and the will to change the things when we turn to him and start to seek him. And <clears throat> although we will still live in a body that is, that is subject to dying, we are born again and we're born in an eternal state that does not die. So that, that is how Jesus rescues us from the sinful body. And, you know, as we walk, even once we've been, uh, we've been saved and we've accepted Jesus Christ, we still have a desiring, a passionate, desiring body that will try to pull us back in the, back in the sin. But once, we, once, once God has touched our lives, you know, he's put it on us. We have the, we have the, the power, the authority to rebuke Satan. We have the power and authority to walk away from sin. But the thing is, we, don't, we, we still have to make a choice to do that. And uh, that is key to being a Christian, that we always have a choice to do good or bad. There's no reason, there's no one, there's no one that can make you sin. So when we choose to sin, we choose on our own to sin. And sometimes that's a hard choice. Because if someone is, is, is you know, someone puts a gun to your head and tell you to do something, it's a hard choice to choose to do the right thing, even though because you're being threatened. But God, but we that is our choice. And we have to trust God that when we make those choices, that because we praise him and we lift him up and making the right choice, that he will watch over us. And that may mean that our that's body dies, but that may that may solidify our eternal relationship with Christ. So we always want to be living to please God. And to, and, and to, and, and to, uh, to live and do things that are pleasing to God and uh, that, that, that he will welcome us through his grace and mercy into uh, his eternal kingdom. So that's all the time that I have today. God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great day.